Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! It's over. 2D gaming is dead to me. Put this in a bin. I mean, don't literally put this in a bin because the Xbox is awesome. But VR has finally overtaken and surpassed 2D gaming for storyline, for graphics, and for immersion. I mean, it's always been more immersive, but it finally looks like this. Holy crap. I'm really on a balcony and there is really a pigeon there. Ridiculous. You are an actual pigeon. This is a Wednesday video, so if you're one of my home automation fans and you're thinking, I don't like this very much, it's only Wednesday, come back on Saturday. If you're interested in virtual reality at all, I'm gonna walk you through some of the gameplay mechanics of this game, how it all fits together, but there'll be no spoilers, so I'm just gonna show you me getting basically flipping terrified. <laughs> First of all then, this world is real. I mean, look how obsessed I am with this pigeon. <laughs> That's a pigeon. I know you know it's a pigeon, but it's a pigeon, it's right there. I just freaked it out. Aside from that, you expect to see your reflection in puddles. It is that good. When you're looking around this world, everything around you is ultra detailed, like you would expect from just standard 2D gaming, but you're in there. You're in the game, you're looking around and things are there and they're three-dimensional and they're frightening as all bollocks. <laughs> but everything in that world is somehow magically real. The gameplay mechanics are ingenious. If I grab a gun and I want to load this thing, I have to eject the existing magazine by pressing a button on the controller, which feels really intuitive. I have to take a magazine out of my backpack by reaching over my shoulder, stick it into the gun, and then cock the gun before I can shoot it. This is horrifying! Because when you've got something coming at you and you're out of bullets, it's like... <laughs> It's awful, but it's brilliant. If you like to be frightened by things, this game will terrify the ever-living piss out of you. The storyline for this game is phenomenal, but you won't know what's going on. They kind of just dump you in this world and push you through a door and go, go on, go and live that life now. And you're looking around thinking, they're clearly the future, but we can only afford VHS and shit old school TVs. I had that TV. I swear I had that TV with a red, green, and blue thing on it. Irrelevant. This must be very boring for anyone watching. Next. It's the past, but it's also the future, and there are aliens everywhere, and for some reason all the people are complete dicks. Dad! Man, the future sucks. Hey, wait, wait, no, 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 no! <laughs> My god, what an intro. It's just a real world. I've just wandered around a real world and then got hit in the head by a dick. <laughs> he just kept beating in the head a whole bunch of times and there's this guy called Russell who's your dad's mate apparently and he just is in your headset telling you what to do. And without him, this game would give you nightmares. He's like the comedic relief and he is utterly hilarious. Oh, oh wait, uh, I almost forgot. Alex, I'm here. You're gonna need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. It's unloaded now! <laughs> <laughs> the world is under quarantine. In real life, but that's not what I mean. In the game, the world is under quarantine, and the quarantined area that you go into has chickens everywhere. And they're not good chickens, they're really unpleasant chickens. I hate you chicken, I hate your box, I hate this place, I hate everything about all of this. They mount themselves onto people's heads, and that turns them into zombies for some reason, which makes complete sense. Why? Who comes up with this stuff? Why, why do you have a chicken on your head, dude? 
It's horrible. If anyone ever saw the episode of Friends where Monica sticks a chicken on her head, that's you. That's you, that is. And these zombies come at you and they're flailing their arms and stuff, and if you get hit by a flailing arm, it really hurts for some reason. But either way, this does not detract from the horror of this game. The chickens are crawling around on their own, and if they come at you... Ah! Ah! Yep, there it is. Found it. <laughs> No, it's not. There's going to be loads of them. Brussels a dork. You don't want that. And when they're on people's faces and they're coming at you, you don't want that either. Ah! Oh, 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 oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ah, that's not funny. That's not funny. No! God damn it! They're chicken off your head! I know VR is expensive, but seriously, if you already have a decent gaming PC, it's time to invest in VR. It now is the time. D are you doing it yet? Do it. Um, I have reviewed this before. This is the Oculus Quest. This on its own cannot run this game. But if you get a link cable for this thing to connect it to your decent gaming PC, your gaming PC will do all the work and then the headsets will make all the magic happen. Seriously, if there was ever a time to invest in VR, this game just made it happen. All of that has not really prepared you for what you're about to see. You're about to see a whiny little girl. Um, if you want to see a whiny little girl, keep watching. Here is some awesome footage of the best game I have ever played. Enjoy! Alex Vance. Oh, I'm a girl. That's suitable, considering I'm about to behave like one. That's, that's sexist. Girls are fine. I mean, I'm a little girl. I'm going to act like a little girl. Holy crap. I'm really on a balcony and there is really a pigeon there. Look at this! How can this be? This is so real! Ooh. That looks more like my speed. Let's do this. Ah, uh, yeah. That's better. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, there's a dead body. Oh, dude, that's so rank. Intestines hanging out and stuff. Oh no, his mouth wobbles around. I do not like you. Oh god. I'm just gonna. Maybe you could just. Just go over there. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh man. You stay there. Ugh. Get off that. Ugh. Oh. This is so gross. I think I need to move that crate over there and then get on the crate and go past a flipping dead dude. Can I? Yep. Go away. Seriously, get out of there. I don't want you. I don't want you. <laughs> You got a chicken on your head. You stupid things. Suck on that. Ah! You'll eat anything, won't you, you dumb bastard? Ugh. <laughs> you got a canister of gas in the face. Yeah! Eat that, you idiot. <laughs> ah! Uh, yeah, this is this bit. Ooh. Ah! What is that? What is that? That's a skull! Oh no! No! I hate you. I hate you. Yeah, that's what you get when I'm safely on a train. No! No! Wait! Wait your turn, fellas. You can't all die at once. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Screw you! Ugh. Uh, I have goosebumps. <laughs> Chicken on your head. Why have you idiots got no ammunition? It's no wonder you're dead. 
idiots. Oh god, it's so messed up. Look at the mess. Look at the mess the chicken did to your head. Well, there's one bullet in there, great. I just spent it. What? Why does cocking the gun spend a bullet? Do I, I don't know guns very well, is that a real thing? How am I supposed to... Now I have no bullets! What is wrong with me? <laughs> Why did I just test the bullets by shooting the gun? Idiot! Everything alright? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not good. I mean, how can this be good? There's a, what is that? What is that? You really know how you take that off his dead body. Attach flashlight to gravity glove. How? Oh, thank God. Ugh. Now, dark scenes with flashlights are somehow even more realistic. Oh, for God's sakes. Did it... Where did it go? Oh God, this is the worst. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh God, oh God. Oh man. Flipping everywhere. Ah. This game's the worst. Just kill me, I don't care. I just want it to be over. Why do you die? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I am so goosebumpy right now. That is the worst I have ever felt playing a video game. That was horrible. Stuck in a dark room with all these jerks. What is going on with your... What the hell? Dude, what's happening with you? Ugh. How do you get the hell out of this room? Holy balls. Holy balls. I love everything about the way this game has been told to you. The story, the world, everything is brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, YouTube will let you know when I upload videos. These amazing people are my patrons from Patreon and without them, I wouldn't be making these videos. Uh, you can come and be one of these guys at either Patreon, or you can buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll love you forever. If you want to see me in social medias, all the Facebooks, the Twitters, and the Instagrams, you can come and join me at one of the, these locations, and I shall see you next time. Hi. <laughs>